Greetings and welcome to the virtual Dizzy Persons Retreat. My name is Sister Georgina Severin. I'm a daughter of Charity of St. Vincent de Paul. And I wanted to say I'm so happy that you are able to spend some time this Advent um, to pause, to pray, to reflect, and to grow in your relationship with God. I'm very happy for you, and I'm happy you're able to join us. So Advent is such a beautiful season. It's actually one of my favorites. Um, I'm so excited about it. and. Uh, as you may already know, it's the time we eagerly anticipate the coming of Jesus into the world. Um, this is really exciting. It's pretty cool. And the cool thing about it is that it happens every year, and year after year, it's new. Um, the story is told again and again, and every year it's fresh within us, or at least has the potential to be fresh within us. You know, it's like St. Augustine says, ever ancient, ever new. And Jesus' is coming into the world has a chance to rekindle in us um, fires of love, fires of joy, peace, and hope in our hearts, and um, also for the life of the world. So go Advent. I'm so excited. Um, so I have to be honest and say that um, there's so much to say about what it means to prepare to receive Jesus. You know, as I was praying and thinking about what I could say, um, I thought, there's so much. And so I thought it's just best if I just speak from my heart. Um, and I'm hoping that um, even though there's always more to say, that whatever I share from my heart speaks or says something to your heart. Uh, me at the beginning of this so I wanted to share with you that I found an image online you may have it before it's a picture of a little little figure like a stick figure kind of stick figure is holding in its heart like and we're kind of out like this and right next to the figure is a figure of Jesus and the little figure us uh, is holding out its heart and saying this is all I have and Jesus looks in a very gentle, welcoming, open way, says, it's all I want. And the first time I, I saw that picture, I thought, oh my gosh, you know, I try so hard every day to give all I can, to do more, to be more. And when, the moment I saw that picture, I'm reminded, and I have it up um, in my car, in the classroom, and I'm reminded that all I want is my heart. And so that's, I know I don't have it with you right now, but uh, for you right now, but um, if there's a way you can just visualize it and keep it with you over the next few minutes. And if it helps over the next few weeks to know that um, our hearts are all Jesus wants. Um, and so I wanted to say that um, when we uh, are having a party or something, um, or we're having friends over, or sometimes the sisters come over for like the Christmas novena, I get so excited. and. Like most people, you know, we want to clean, we want to um, cook, we want to make things nice for the people we love. And it's just like that for Jesus. He's coming. He's coming into the world. And we know the story. He's coming. And he's going to make all things new. And how can we not be excited and want to do, do, do? And I'm reminded of that picture, though, because Jesus is ready to receive us no matter what. And so sometimes all the do, do, doing are just ways to keep us from the giving. And so as you um, think about how you're going to prepare yourself to receive Jesus, um, one way, one thing to think about is not worrying about what your heart might look like, you know, or shining this spot in it or hiding that little corner, but just being like that little figure and saying, you know, Jesus, I trust you, and I'm going to give you my heart. Here it is. I know it's what you want. That's easier said than done. I know. So I was thinking about what concrete ways that could be lived out in everyday life for the next two, three weeks, four weeks, or even forever, you know. And um, so I was thinking that maybe one way could be to remember that as you begin this retreat, Think about a grace that's needed in your life. You know, it could be something very personal. It could be something in your heart. 
It could be something that a loved one needs or um, someone you know who's, who's ill. And focus uh, your intention on some kind of grace that you desire. Because um, to receive Jesus means to trust in his mercy and his love and asking for a grace. Uh, his grace abounds no matter what, but when we pray for the graces, then we're more attuned uh, to seeing them in the daily circumstances of our life. So that's the invitation number one, to ask for a grace and to ask for it, you know, in all sincerity. And it could be little, it could be big, but ask for it because um, he knows it anyway and to not be afraid, okay? Um, the second thing is, there's no better way to re to prepare to receive Jesus than to actually receive him. So um, you may already have the chance to go to daily mass, but, um, or you may not, you know, it might be difficult because of your schedule. This is a busy person's retreat after all. So if you haven't found the chance to go to a daily mass, try to figure maybe like one other time during the week or two other times, Maybe there's mass time in the morning before work or before school or um, at the noon hour or even in the evening. Um, because receiving Jesus in the Eucharist, there's no better way to prepare our hearts, to make our hearts bigger and more open to receiving his will for our lives and um, becoming the person he wants us to be. And so the third thing is, um, goes back to that image I shared about, you know, the little figure holding its heart. So it could be some kind of prayer during the day that happens over and over again. And the prayer would be something like, uh, Jesus, I give you my heart. Jesus, I give you my heart. In this moment, I give you my heart. As I wash the dishes, I give you my heart. As I face this person I struggle with, I give you my heart. Anything that is before us, we can say, Jesus, I give you my heart. So three things, let me try to sum it up. Number one, ask for a grace and be confident that Jesus will answer. Number two, go to mass if you can, receive Jesus in the Eucharist. And um, if that's difficult, then you know, open up that scripture and receive him in the word. Thirdly, Make sure you pray and say the words, Jesus, I give you my heart. Because the more we say it, the more it becomes engraved in our hearts. And it becomes a realer and realer possibility. So oh, I wish you a happy Advent. Um, I don't know. But I want you to know that I'm praying for you. Um, I'm so happy you're able to take this time and, um, um, in our work towards prayer for, for peace in the world, okay? Um, so take care, God bless, happy Advent, and um, may Jesus be the ruler of our hearts forever, okay? God bless you, take care, bye-bye.